Are you looking for a reasonably priced down jacket to keep you warm during the cold weather? If so, in this video, I review the Decathlon 4 Class Trek 100. I bought the 4 Class Trek 100 because I'd heard it's one of the best bang for your buck down jackets in the market today. I've had this jacket for a year and a half and brought it during my recent travels to the Czech Republic, Austria, and Germany back in November. I also brought it to a trip to Hawaii last January as a just in case jacket. Surprisingly, I had to bust it out a few times. I'm just gonna take this off. It's uh, 74 degrees in here. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. For the materials and features, the Cathlon's website says that its fabric and lining is 100% polyamide. I had to look up what polyamide was, but for example, nylon is a type of polyamide. Its inner fabric is 100% polyester cationic, which is polyester that can be dyed with colors. It's filled with 15% gray duck feather and 85% gray duck down. The down is RDS certified, which means the feathers are from certified farms that treat the geese and ducks humanely. And the down has a fill power of 800. It's lightweight weighing at approximately 10.2 ounces in a men's size medium and the entire jacket can fold down into one of its pockets. It's water repellent and can keep you warm between 23 degrees Fahrenheit and 41 degrees Fahrenheit. As for the features, there are two zippered side pockets with a lot of room inside, elastic like wrist cuffs that are hidden at the bottom of the sleeve and the bottom can be adjusted as well. And of course, we have a zipper right down the middle. At the time of this recording, the jacket is $79.99 US dollars. For the fit and looks, the jacket size runs small uh, according to the website, so definitely consider sizing up. I ordered a large off the website. It definitely looks quite puffy, so to speak. Uh, my wife says I look like the Michelin man in it, but at the same time, it's still sleek looking. I don't feel any movement restriction. I do think the sleeves are a bit long, but it's not a big deal because it provides extra warmth for my hands. As for the hood, this might seem like a no-brainer, but put the hood on first, then zip it all the way up. If the jacket is zipped all the way up and then you try to put on the hood, you can run into your face looking like this. If you want to avoid that scenario and your jacket is already zipped all the way up, pull the neck part up to your nose and then you can more easily slide up the hood. All right, on to the pros of the jacket. The first pro is its durability. On my travels, I've used this all day long with my big wandered backpack and it's held up great. There's no major feather leakage and no zipper snagging, <clears throat> unlike my Uniqlo like down jacket. Anyways, the jacket still looks like it's in mint condition after one and a half years of use. The second pro is it's lightweight and packability. I love how it packs down really small and takes up minimal space in my suitcase and backpack. Since it's so light, it doesn't feel like it adds any weight to your bag. The third pro is it's warmth. I've used this in temperatures in the low 30s. I think it was in Prague during my recent trip and it really did keep me warm. I had two layers beneath it and it all kept me pretty comfortable. I like the neck area of the hood. For me, neck warmth Warmth is really important when it gets cold. And when zipped all the way up, the neck area goes pretty high up. For the fourth pro, the jacket does a good job of not hanging on to orders. After a day's use of regular traveling, I'd hang this up overnight and it was always ready to go the next day, not smelling like anything. On to the cons. So I really don't have any cons, but if I were to point out one thing, it would be the neck area. So yes, I said the high neck area was a pro for me because of the warmth it provides, but when zipped all the way up, it goes to the bottom of my lip. The neck area is a bit stiff and it's just kind of in the way when zipped all the way up. There's also a lot of rubbing that happens on my chin and cheeks. If I zip the neck area down a bit, this of course solves the chin rubbing, but to me in this position, the flaps just kind of look a bit odd, like wings. <laughs> it's not a huge deal to me and definitely not a deal breaker. It doesn't even look bad, but it's just something I wanted to point out, just in case someone out there cares about this kind of thing too. So, do I recommend this jacket? Yes, I do. Other jackets are hundreds of dollars, but for just $79.99 USD, you get a durable, lightweight, and packable jacket for weather temperatures down to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. This is my second down jacket ever, and I can see myself using this for many years to come, whether it be for unusually cold weather on the beautiful island of Maui, or for a late night out in Prague drinking those delicious Czech lagers. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my review of the Decathlon 4 Class Trek 100, and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.